Brother Stephen Camara, a seminarian with the Marians of the Immaculate Conception, and this is Saints in Focus. Martin of Tours is most famous for a single act of mercy. As a young soldier, Martin met a beggar on the road whose clothing was all in rags. So with his sword, Martin divided his warm military cloak in half, giving one half to the beggar. That night, he saw Jesus coming to him in a dream, wearing the cloak and thanking him. But did you know that Martin of Tours later became a monk, a bishop, and a champion of nonviolent resistance to both pagans and heretics? Martin was born in the 300s in modern-day Hungary. He initially followed his father in a military career, but after just two years, he felt called to a life of peace. So he went to study under Hilary of Poitiers and built a house of monastic life that soon drew other followers. After he was exiled a while for opposing the Arian heresy, he returned and was chosen Bishop of Tours by popular acclaim. In that diocese, he established an early version of the parish system. Although he firmly opposed both pagans and heretics, he was very merciful and deterred the emperor and other leaders who wanted to imprison and execute them. When he was about to die, his people urged him not to leave them, and he prayed, Lord, if your people still need me, I am ready for the task. Your will be done. At his death, his contemporary, Sulpicius Severus, said, This is a man whom words cannot describe. Death could not defeat him, nor toil dismay him. He did not fear death, nor did he refuse to live. Martin of Tours gives us an example of mercy for the poor and for those we disagree with. He shows us how to live in peace with others, not simply a negative peace that is the absence of conflict, but a positive, life-giving peace in which both people and nations can flourish. Peace, as Thomas Aquinas says, is not only the agreement between two people about something they desire, but also the harmony of every desire in each person towards the greatest good, the highest good, which is God himself. Today, as we reflect on the life of St. Martin of Tours, let's ask for the peace of soul which gives us an interior unity with God at the center. Then, with his peace in our heart, we can spread peace among the people we live and work with. And maybe we too will be remembered after our death by the little acts of mercy we did for others. St. Martin of Tours, pray for us.